The long and deep trenches are now part and parcel of Khobabe's landscape, or at least had been so for over a year. The town council contracted companies to dig trenches and install pipes that would connect the sewers at the town to the main trunk line. However, these trenches have now become a danger to the inhabitants who have labeled them as death traps. As with any construction work in a public area, warning signs are supposed to be put up for caution. But this is not the case here in Khobabas. As a victim of one of the people also who happened to fell into this type of trenches in a location, on numerous occasions I have informed the CEO, I have also informed the chairperson of the management committee that uh, the danger of this thing is basically, it's, it's a capital project, I cannot take it away, but be it as it may, the, the person who is responsible for that tender, definitely that tender was issued to somebody. And if that somebody is, cannot uh, complete the job, then it needs to be revoked so that another tender must be appointed to complete the job. Some trenches are filled with alga-infested water. Two weeks ago, a Namibia Defense Force soldier identified as George Downsab drowned in the trenches dug between the central business district and the township. His lifeless body was discovered a day later. He was reportedly fleeing a criminal who wanted to attack him. And his family is now contemplating legal action against the Khobabas Town Council. We feel that the town council was careless. Whoever had the task of working on these specific sites were incompetent. We feel that the council does not take the responsibility to serve the public the way they should. Because from what I've understood, these trenches are there for over a year. And as a contractor myself, I know when tenders go out, what is the process involved? Safety should be first. The town council is aware of the residents' concerns and further admitted to contractors, letting the town council down in terms of the time frame to complete the project. So, but it's just an unfortunate situation, but the council is really looking into it. We cannot just come and stop and tell the contractors that we terminate your contract because there are some legal implications that we're exploring, but a solution might be found very soon. The council spokesperson also maintains that the warning signs were put up at various sites, but were allegedly vandalized and stolen by the same residents. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Khobabes.